Last time on Check 6 Aviation, we've got the back wall sheathed and ready to rock. All right, my friend, we are back at it for day two. I'm doing this solo as much as possible today because it is Sunday. I wanted to give my friends across the street a little bit of a rest. And so what we're gonna do as much as I can before I have to go across the street and get them to help out with putting up the, sheet, the uh, plywood sheathing. Most likely it'll be the top two on the walls on, a, on both sides that I'll need help. So in the, pro, in the meantime, what I'll do is I'll get the, you know, the little bit of overhang that needs to be cut away up on top and try and hang the other, uh, ply, the other piece of plywood for the door. Now, I do realize that there are much easier ways of doing this. For example, I could have just tacked the panel onto the frame and you know, run a chalk line or even just scored a, a you know, taken a pencil or a marker of some sort and just scored it along and just ripped it that way or uh, I, mean, I mean cut it that way. Uh, and same for the, the other side. Uh, however, uh, you know, sometimes I just get ahead of myself. If you doubt me, you can ask my wife. She knows me very well. At this point, I'm basically just trimming off a little bit of excess on the door. Christina just came over and just kind of seen what I'm doing because she heard the tools you know, going off in the distance from the back across the street. And here's Sammy following close behind and saying, hey, you did a good job. You, you get a little bit further on us. And uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's a good feeling at this point. Wait till you see how far we've gotten now. Oh my God. To do that, you just go over to our Instagram page. Here's the QR code up on the screen. Just go ahead and take your phone if you're not using it. If you're looking at uh, this video on a different uh, device, uh, your phone or your tablet, and just go ahead and scan the QR code and it'll take you right to it. Otherwise, you can just go to check.6 aviation on Instagram. At this point, we're getting ready to put on the bottom panel of the, the side wall that is going to have the window. You'll see where, right there where I'm at, uh, there's the window box right there. And so, of course, we go ahead and man manhandle that panel right into place. And a few screws, and she's in there. And then we go ahead and do the same thing for the rest of the wall here coming up in a moment. If you see me tapping, it's not because I'm tapping in a nail. I'm actually seating the screw. It's a trick that Sammy had uh, taught me. Now, it, you'll see the he's got the level right there. What he's actually doing, it, Sammy's a smart guy, let me tell you, he's, we don't have a chalk line set for the, for, to, for the studs, so he's kind of using the level as kind of a, a gauge, a ruler if you will, to get an idea of where that stud would be for the best position to put the, the screw in. At this point, we're <laughs> getting towards the end of the day for day two. 
of the, this, pro this point in the project. And, well, light's kind of fading. There you see the sun go down and the, the lights come out of the cell phones. Christina doing her best, of course. Many hours later. All right, my friend, it's day three of this build project for this home time before I have to go back out on the road tomorrow morning and haul some loads to go ahead and get some more money for not only the house, but also this project here. So let me show you what we've done so far. Obviously, we've got three, three pieces of plywood on the wall facing the house. Uh, I do have to kind of put in a little bit, you know, I've got to you know, screw in that, side, that top side there. And then the idea is that my wife and I can go ahead and get the lower pieces on this side put in before Sammy gets home from work and hopefully we'll have enough daylight. This has got, we're down to crunch time here. We're really down to crunch time here because like I said, tomorrow is back on the road and I've got to get all the rest of, the, of this plywood up and get this thing wrapped before I leave tomorrow. So let's see if we can go ahead and get that done and let's go ahead and crunch it out. Let's go back to work. This is about the time that I figured out, hey, you know what? I could run a chalk line from the top plate all the way down and get an idea of where the stud would be for the top bottom two panels. And once again, the sun sets and here come the lights out so that we can start continue working after dark and get this portion of the project finished up. Many hours later. All right, my friend. Well, here's what we've got going so far. We did get, we did get a lot done last night. As a matter of fact, we got all of the plywood hung and up on the, the, uh, the framework. Um, but we still have the doors to fabricate. That'll have to wait until after I get back. You hear the dogs in the bar in the background, but you're listening to my voice here. But let me show you what we got going on. So this is what I've got to get done today. I've got to get the extra on the walls cut off. And then I'm going to take that and use that over here to cover up what little bit of plywood did not cover up the frame. And then I'm gonna trim up the rest of the window here and then wrap this puppy in Tyvek. Now, what is the Tyvek? The Tyvek is a moisture barrier. It serves as a, a way to yeah, protect the plywood in preparation for putting on the uh, whatever uh, sheet, uh, whatever siding or uh, whatever I'm going to put on the outside. So it, it helps to seal in. And because the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm putting an air conditioner in that window. And so I want to have the most energy efficiency as possible. I'm also going to put insulation on the interior walls. So Let's get back to work. Three weeks later. All right, my friend, we're back at it. Day five. Can you believe it already? Day five. I've tried doing this for, you know, getting this done for five days now. Uh, made a lot of progress in those five days, but they have not been consecutive days. I will give you that. Um, so the last time, last time I was here, 
uh, I was trying to get everything done and get this thing wrapped up before I had to head back out on the road. Well, that didn't happen. You see I'm in different clothes right now. And basically, this is where we're at. Got, we're gonna tackle that lip right there, get that all cut off, and then we're gonna wrap this puppy up and get that window in. And then I gotta head back out on the road. Heading to Connecticut this time on a massive load and uh, then back here because I got to get some work done on the truck so it'll be yeah you know, we're gonna shoot for putting on the roof after I get back so let's get to it Well, as you can see, that was dusty. I had sawdust all over me, on my hat, even down my shirt. I know you didn't want to see me with my shirt off, so uh, I did that off camera and I got everything off. But you know, I still got some little fine particles, so I'm gonna have my wife take care of that for me in just a second. So you may or may not have seen, but uh, I was using the, the jigsaw and then I switched over to the circular saw. The reason for that is because, well, I broke a saw blade. So off to Lowe's we go to get another blade and then trim that down because it's, it is now sticking out a good deal. And uh, we'll go ahead and get that taken care of, get that sawed up from the top and then wrap this puppy and then it's back on the road. Hey, if you want to help out the channel at all, the easiest way that you can do it is to go ahead and leave a comment down below what you want to see, what you like about the channel, what you dislike, especially if you dislike because that does help me improve. Uh, give a, a thumbs up on the channel and by all means, help me get to at least over a thousand subscribers. Right now, as the, the recording of this video, I'm at 152 subscribers and I really appreciate those that have subscribed, but I need to get more so that uh, I can unlock a lot more features with YouTube. So share this video, especially if you know anyone that likes aviation content or even building content like this. And I really appreciate you. On my way out to Lowe's, here we go. So we did go ahead and get the blades right here, but I decided that I wanted a saw of my own because I am still in carpenter tool gathering stage at least. And so I picked up this bad boy right here. But when I opened it up, and it's a good thing I did because I found out batteries not included. So it's back to Lowe's and pick up the battery, then back to home and back to work. All right, so I've got the corner all buttoned in, all, all dialed up, dialed up, dialed, We've got the corner all dialed in. And in looking and checking over my work, preparing for the wrap, I discovered that I had not put enough screws in along the window. And then this is why you try and get your seams on a stud. But I've got a quick, I've got a good fix for that. I just take a piece of scrap plywood, put it in the back, have my wife hold it in, and I'll just screw it from this side and try and get it flush. So with that, it's back to work. All right, dusty again, Whew. but okay. So I've, I discovered that the, 
that this corner had a little bit of an overhang. Went ahead and chopped that off. Uh, went ahead and tidied up this corner over here and got that excess off. And now it's time to wrap this puppy. So let's do it. Well, my friend, that's a wrap. I know, dad joke. But anyway, I have really got to get going. I've got to get up to Connecticut. I will be back next week. Shrek's got to go in the shop again. We still haven't found the air leak on the, on the, uh, on the rig. Uh, so I'll have a little bit more time to finish this up. Uh, I still have to get the, the corners up there, you know, trimmed up and get everything situated. But for right now, it's looking pretty good. Yeah, I've got a little bit down there to do, but you know what, I, think, I don't know if I'm really gonna worry about that. I know I've gotta tape this up. Uh, before I leave though, I will get up on the ladder and get that all situated and tidy that up, uh, as well as the corner. It's down here. Uh, I've got it all the way around now. And essentially, Raymond is a happy camper. So with that, like I said, like, subscribe, comment down below, share with your friends. It really does help the channel. And if you want to see the most recent progress, follow us on Instagram because I do post pictures up there as well before they, the videos come out here. So with that in mind, oh, and if you really, really want to support the channel, become a Patreon subscriber as well. That will, uh, all proceeds will go to uh, help defray some of the costs for the airplane. And plus, I might donate some to charity here and there. Uh, it'll be, of course, an aviation-related charity, probably a scholarship fund of some sort. Uh, but uh, next, you got to fabricate the doors and cover those in Tyvek as well. And then we'll work on the roof. With that in mind, Raymond signing off. 
And remember, always check your six. Peace.